first of all, I want to say that corporate school reform has failed. <laughs> say it again. Corporate school reform has failed. Uh, um, I'm going to speak a little bit to, try to speak a little bit to uh, Abraham De Leon's um, talk, but I just have notes. So it'll be a little truncated. But I think it, it's important to do this having just briefly looked at these this morning because I think he illustrates some of the uh, variants that Kat was talking about in terms of the ways in which uh, we need to collectively respond to the issues that we face now. But we're, we're going to have solidarity. We're also going to have <clears throat> people thinking about um, what the questions are and the responses are in different ways. As I mentioned earlier, um, Abe was not admitted into Canada yesterday afternoon. I'll talk just briefly about that. He, um, he was stopped at uh, the Pacific Crossing border, uh, which is um, just south of here in Surrey, um, and held for five hours, and uh, basically in communicado. Um, Abe is an assistant professor in the uh, College of Education and Human Development at the University of Texas, San Antonio. Uh, and he was coming here to deliver uh, a talk this morning and also a, a talk this week at, at AERA. Um, Abe's work is um, uh, focused on issues of cultural studies, critical animal studies, and um, anarchist theory. He's uh, recently published a, a, a co-authored book with Routledge called um, Contemporary Anarchist Studies um, in the Academy. A special issue of AESA's Journal of Educational Studies on Anarchism and Education. He's written articles in the last couple of years regarding sabotage as a pedagogical um, concept. Um, I wonder why they kept him out. This is, they, wouldn't, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't tell him why, but I think we can. Um, make the linkages ourselves. The Canadian Border Services Agents, the Agency has a, has a very well-known history for keeping critical educators out of Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill Ayers in particular, who was, I think, most recently refused entry into Canada last June really, when he was trying to get into Toronto. <coughs> and there's, uh, I, I can't remember, I think that's like the third or fourth time in the last five years that, that uh, Ayers has been refused entry. Canada. I think this is a real cause for concern for people that are interested in and value free speech, open debate, and academic freedom. Um, I'll talk a little bit. Uh, now, I also want to say that Abe is uh, one of the co-editors co of